Throughout history, Africans were often viewed as a threat by other civilizations and colonial powers due to a complex set of factors rooted in cultural misunderstandings, fear of difference, and the socio-political context of exploration, conquest, and enslavement. These perceptions evolved over centuries, shaped by the interactions between African societies and those from Europe, the Middle East, and later the Americas. To fully understand why Africans were historically regarded as a threat, it is important to explore the intersection of economic motivations, cultural misconceptions, religious justifications, and the nature of resistance displayed by African communities in response to external pressures. In the earliest periods of contact between Africans and foreign civilizations, trade and exploration were the primary points of interaction. North African states such as Carthage, Egypt, and Nubia had long been involved in Mediterranean and Sub-Saharan trade, engaging with the ancient Greek, Roman, and Arab worlds. Africans were not only integrated into these networks but also thrived within them, often wielding considerable economic power. This early display of influence, wealth, and organized states like Great Zimbabwe and the Kingdom of Mali unsettled many external powers, who found the idea of African political and economic strength incompatible with their prejudiced views of Africa as a land of barbarism. The Mali Empire, under the leadership of Mansa Musa, was a prime example of this, as Musa's renowned wealth and his lavish pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 left a lasting impression across the Islamic world and beyond. His sheer wealth and influence created both admiration and apprehension in the minds of European and Middle Eastern rulers who saw the potential of Africa as both a trade competitor and a strategic ally. This combination of fear and fascination over the power that African rulers wielded played into an image of Africa as a land of vast potential. It also one that harbored the possibility of military and economic rivalry. As the European powers expanded their explorations of the African continent in the 15th century, these economic and political anxieties transformed into a more palpable fear. Portugal's early ventures into the Atlantic coast of West Africa introduced Europeans to a wide array of African kingdoms, many of which had powerful militaries and well-established social systems. Kingdoms like Congo and Benin demonstrated their ability to engage diplomatically with European states while maintaining their autonomy. This was particularly alarming for European powers accustomed to easily dominating other regions they encountered. Africans were viewed as highly organized and formidable in warfare, especially since early European explorers and settlers frequently encountered significant resistance to their attempts at colonization. The fact that African societies could resist or challenge European military advancements painted them as threats that needed to be neutralized, setting the stage for a long history of conquest and subjugation justified by exaggerated fears of African dominance. Religious justification for viewing Africans as a threat also played a significant role during this period. The spread of Christianity throughout Europe and its eventual collision with African spiritual traditions fostered a perception that Africans were not only culturally different but religiously dangerous. Europeans often equated African spiritual practices with witchcraft, paganism, and barbarism, portraying African societies as spiritually backward or even demonic. Missionary accounts, often colored by their Eurocentric views, depicted African religious customs in the most negative light, reinforcing the idea that Africans posed a threat to the moral and religious order that Europe sought to impose globally. This religious prejudice exacerbated existing fears, casting Africans not just as military and economic threats, but also as existential dangers to Christian civilization itself. Moreover, as the transatlantic slave trade began in the 16th century, Africans were increasingly seen through a lens of commodification further distorting perceptions of them as a threat. Europeans and Americans became dependent on African labor for their colonial plantations in the Americas, and this dependency created an ever-growing fear of rebellion and resistance. The very idea of Africans as strong, resilient, and capable of enduring the harshest of conditions made them desirable as slaves, 
but it also fostered a constant anxiety among slave owners and colonial administrators. The threat of slave revolts, especially after events like the Haitian Revolution in the late 18th century, confirmed these fears. Enslaved Africans in the Caribbean, North America, and South America were often seen as potential insurgents, and strict, often brutal, control measures were implemented to prevent uprisings. The perception of Africans as inherently rebellious and dangerous further entrenched the idea that they were a people to be feared and suppressed. Another crucial factor in the historical view of Africans as a threat lies in the legacy of African resistance to colonialism. From the earliest encounters, African kingdoms, states, and communities resisted European colonization and enslavement in various ways, ranging from diplomatic negotiations to outright warfare. This resistance often caught European powers off guard, as they had entered Africa expecting to easily dominate and exploit the continent. The fierce opposition they encountered, from the Ashanti in West Africa to the Zulu in Southern Africa, reinforced their image of Africans as a militarily dangerous and unpredictable people. Leaders like Shaka Zulu, who revolutionized warfare among the Zulu people, became symbols of African defiance and power, stoking European fears of an African uprising that could destabilize colonial control. The technological innovations and military tactics developed by African states also contributed to the view of Africans as a threat. Many African societies had developed sophisticated weaponry and military strategies long before European colonization intensified. For instance, the Dahomey Amazons, an all-female military regiment in the Kingdom of Dahomey, were highly trained and feared both by neighboring African states and European colonizers alike. The existence of such forces contradicted European stereotypes of Africans as primitive or inferior fostering a sense of unease among those who sought to exploit the continent. The continued presence of powerful African armies and their occasional victories over European forces, such as the Ethiopian victory over Italy at the Battle of Adwa in 1896, served as a reminder that Africa was not a land that could be easily conquered or subdued, further cementing the perception of Africans as a formidable threat. Additionally, the portrayal of Africa in Western literature and media also shaped these perceptions. By the 19th century, European colonial writers, explorers, and scientists began producing works that depicted Africa as a dark and dangerous continent. The narratives of explorers like David Livingstone and Henry Morton Stanley, who ventured into Africa's interior, often emphasized the dangers they faced, including encounters with hostile African communities. These exaggerated accounts of African ferocity, combined with the racial pseudosciences of the era, portrayed Africans as savage, uncivilized, and inherently violent. These writings became deeply ingrained in Western consciousness and reinforced the belief that Africans were not just different, but dangerous. The culmination of these historical factors can be seen in the way African societies were treated during the era of colonialism. Colonial powers systematically implemented policies of suppression, control, and division, largely in response to the perceived threat posed by African resistance and independence movements. In many instances, colonial authorities used brutal tactics to crush rebellions and maintain order, further entrenching the belief that Africans were a dangerous population that had to be tightly controlled. The Mau Mau uprising in Kenya during the 1950s is one example of how colonial authorities viewed African resistance as a threat to their rule, responding with extreme violence and repression. In conclusion, the historical view of Africans as a threat was shaped by a combination of economic competition, military resistance, religious prejudice, and racial misconceptions. These factors, often intertwined, created an enduring image of Africans as a people who posed a danger to the established order, whether through their capacity for organized resistance, their cultural and religious practices, or their potential to challenge the colonial and economic dominance of foreign powers. This view persisted across centuries, influencing not only the ways in which Africans were treated by colonial powers, but also the broader global perceptions of Africa and its people.